Here we go, back to the room to get ready to go fishing. The technique. The technique. Good morning, friends. Hello. We are on our way to Ketchikan, day six of our Norwegian Alaskan cruise. We're gonna head to breakfast. I'm hungry. We're gonna go to the local. Uh, the coffee there is a little bit better than everywhere else. The Starbucks, we haven't done Starbucks yet, but I wonder if they have pumpkin spice lattes yet. I don't know, we can check. Yeah, I think um, it's like August 26th or something, and I think I saw the that they're out, but who knows if they're on the ship yet. But I'm gonna get some breakfast and then uh, mosey about until we get off and catch a can today to do some salmon fishing. Gonna go, I haven't been fishing since Jake and I started dating. I think that was the last time. Do you remember when you took mm -hmm. me? It was like 10 years ago. So. I'm gonna... You caught a fish then too, so. Did I? You did, wow, you were I the only one that caught a fish. Maybe remember. the luck is still with you. Maybe. Hopefully we catch some salmon today. That'd be pretty cool. I think you're gonna catch all of them. I'm gonna catch none of them. Oh, your stomach's growling. Let's go to breakfast. <laughs> Started with a little seasonal fruit salad. Looks good, very colorful. They do have the thickest berries. Yeah, they got some chunky berries. They got chunky berries on this ship. And for me, I got the French toast. Chick to two plus an omelet. Food comes out here in about 45 seconds, so if you're hungry, don't be afraid to come here and order because yeah, it's definitely mass produced in the back and is just you're sitting there ready to go because this is the exact same French toast that's at the buffet. But just don't be afraid to, like, if you would rather be served than fighting in a buffet to get the food to come here because there's really no one here this morning. Breakfast has been had. And now we're just sitting on the balcony, enjoying the views, strolling, floating into Ketchikan. Boat strolling. Boat strolling. Boat moseying. It's another cloudy, foggy gray day, about 55 degrees. Go figure. But lots more trees, lots more mountains. You see it all in Alaska. Over and over, over and over, over. over. It's beautiful. But if you're looking for some something different. Look someplace different. <laughs> That's all this here. Yeah. Here. You can see it. something really important to share about coming to Alaska is that don't trust the weather report kind of like pack on instinct when a week ago when I checked the weather in each of the ports it was supposed to be like 50 raining 75% chance all day and this is day four that we got to the port and it's not it's like it's not warm out but it's not cold out by any means i had like a fuzzy jacket on and i was gonna wear my ski coat and i oh yeah we had big plans it's, it's i like don't need 60 it degrees. it's 60 degrees out it's there's not supposed no to rain there's no wind but we're still gonna take 
everything. We're gonna be on the water, so it yeah. will be colder for us. But if you're just coming into town or you're doing like one of these excursions that you're not like on the water, mm -hmm. you kind of have to bring everything when you come to Alaska. I have a couple video ideas coming up, but something I watched that was really helpful was a what I packed versus what I wore. And I'm gonna do a version of that, plus a what I ver versus what I wish I would have brought as well. Cause there's a couple other things that I'm like, oh, I wish I would have had this. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's warm. That's what I'm trying to say is Don't it's going to be, it's yeah. And you can kind of tell by looking at the air. It's just, it's almost like humid, kind but not of, warm. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know if it's cause of like the cover that is just maybe, I don't know, but it's nice. I'm not complaining. I'm like, that we got so lucky yeah for sure i was like oh no we're going to alaska and it's gonna i know it rains in alaska like 250 days out of the year but like man come on and we had maybe like three drops of rain that the day we went and did the dog met the dogs yep and it's been great great since so we're gonna catch some fish let's today. go fishing and we off you should see me yesterday man. On ground, kind of, well, and catch a can. <laughs> it is 11-11. They're a little early, but might as well be outside. And, yeah. It's warm. I'm like warm. <laughs> yeah, this is pleasant. Off the ship, directly into the gift shop. That's good, though. If we don't have time for town and we come back here, I can like pick up any last minute things that I need in Alaska. Yeah. It is good to know though that like if you come here and the weather is really, really bad and you're not prepared for it, they have like zip ups and jackets and you know, so. Oh yeah. You're not like completely out of luck if you come and immediately have to do an excursion, but like, oh my God, I don't have a rain jacket. Yeah. That's nice. I bet a lot of people do, otherwise they would not have so much of this stuff. Correct. Yeah. Once 
gets close, you gotta, you gotta use the rod almost to steer him. So if he okay. starts getting like around the other lines, you might pull have to reach him. out and okay. pull him a certain way to keep him out of it. She got down there. Oh, it looks like a short king fan. Call them shakers, because we gotta shake them. on the surface and they'll... How much line do you have out on me? She's coming in. That one's down. That's the deep one. That one's down at the deep. Further down than the other one. There you go. There you go. There you go. We did done done fishing. I'm officially a salmon fisherwoman. Uh -huh. You may call me salmon fishing woman Taylor. Salmon <laughs> or something. Woman. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Probably 50 percent or more of the trees in the forest around here are hemlocks. We use that for a big log, the hemlock. We use it for lumber. This man loves trees. Man loves trees. There's only five types of trees here. He loves all of them. I follow all of them. I think so. See some totem poles out there. That's Totem Bite State Park. There's the entrance to it right up ahead. And those totem poles were relocated here back in the Depression days, back in the 1930s. They had the Civilian Conservation Corps rescued the totem poles from the outlying villages because the Boston natives had abandoned those villages and left the totem poles out there. So their job was to bring the poles back here and a lot of those are back at totem bite. We're 
back in the uh, <coughs> herding area. Took a bus ride back, heard a lot of the same facts we heard on the way there. Except we heard a lot more about trees. Now uh, I'm probably gonna get a beer from the Alaskan Bird Company stand is here and make our way back onto the ship. Okay, we are back at the uh, Ward Cove, which is where our ship is. And I did a little shopping. A little. Sheesh, probably shouldn't slam that down on the chair. Um, we just wanted to talk about the salmon fishing excursion we did today, which is the Knudsen Cove sport fishing excursion. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun uh, because it's 2021. There's not a lot of boats up here right now. Not a lot of the people that spend, you know, half of the year up here and have their boats up here. A lot of them didn't come back. So the boats are a little bit fuller than they normally are, according to our uh, captain. Mm. He said that usually there's only four people on a boat and there were six on our trip, which really like, it was fine. Um, yeah. Also, the fish weren't biting super much today. I think we probably caught a dozen between the six of us. Yeah. I mean, if you count all the little king salmon that we caught. Yeah, oh yeah. We did, probably each of us caught at least one small salmon, king yeah. salmon. If king salmon are out of season, the total number was already caught. Mm -hmm. So you're not allowed to, even if they're big enough, you're not allowed to keep them. And I don't think any of us caught one that would have even been big enough to keep. They were all really small. But it's like, what'd they say? 800,000 pounds of king salmon for the season. Yeah. And then they close it. Yep whatever time of year that is. Yeah. And I heard one guy said he caught a coho, whatever that is, yeah, some kind of salmon, is. I think, and it was relatively big, but everybody else was just catching pink salmon. Yep, pink and silver. Yeah, the occasional silver. But that's cool, I'm cool with that. So I caught two, mm -hmm. and Jay caught one. Mm -hmm. So um, we're having two fish processed, and cut up, and frozen and shipped to us and it, it's shipping on Monday and we're gonna get it on Tuesday of next week but it was really fun it was luckily a really nice day it only rained like right as we were getting on the boat um, if it was like really wet it probably wouldn't have been as much fun because there's not a lot of cover there you're standing a lot like Jake and I stood most of the time because we're young and there there's older, older people, people. Yeah. Um, they had some snacks and drinks they did. Um, they usually have like jerky, but yeah. they're not allowed right now for some reason. I don't know if it's like a COVID risk. My guess is if it's like loose jerky, they don't want everyone reaching into the same. It's like they can't have anything but prepackaged food would be my guess. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully next year that'll be different, but I liked it. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like $250 a person, mm -hmm. I'd say. So. I think it's good. It's it's a pretty private excursion. We talked to them a ton, just like chatted for, th and we were on the water, I think for three hours. Yeah. So I liked it and to see, to be like that close to the water. We saw some whales, um, they were pretty far away, but they said they were, they were bubble feeding on the trip before we got there. We've been hearing that a lot. Like yesterday, this happened oh, yeah. and like, oh, you a couple hours ago whenever. yesterday, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, yeah. you can see what, and so many eagles. Yeah. I'm never gonna look at an eagle the same way oh, yeah. after this trip. They're the everywhere. Two eagles we have in Oakmont are gonna be like, eh. Yeah, so I thought it was really good. I mean, we caught salmon in Alaska and we're gonna be eating it at home and that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. Pretty cool indeed. So Jake got a beer. They have some Alaskan brewery um, beers yeah, in the so. terminal. So he's uh, having one of those. We're gonna head back to the ship, probably drop I gotta shed some layers, yeah. I think, and drop off everything in the room, and then probably hit hit like the, the district brew house and get some dinner at some point. See what else is going on in the ship tonight. Yeah. So we'll we'll take you along, I'm sure. Thanks for coming salmon fishing with us, though. You gonna tell the people what we're doing? We're we just going gonna, to beer. We're just gonna take them along for the ride. We're going to beer. Yeah, we're gonna go or beer. Your drinks. Yeah, or, or and drinks. Probably, what, District Brew House and whatever they have there. I'll go to District Brew House. They have cocktails there. I haven't had yet. They do. It's true. There we go. Where are we going for dinner? Mm. Manhattan Room. Manhattan Room. I agree. I agree. I agree that you agree. We pretty. No, I said we. We. Oh. This is yeah. what you took. <laughs> you is also. 
Pretty. The ship's what? not moving yet. <gasps> Have a go. Where are we going up? Oh, crap. Oh, man. All right. Have it. Back down. Because <laughs> we have to eventually prepare ourselves to go up the stairs, so yeah. it's like... Ugh. Fail. It's only been a week. We've made it to the Manhattan room. Yep. A great view of it. So when we pull out, we'll be able to like see it. It's pretty cool. Pardon the frame rate in here. Something weird is happening, but I got a baked brie salad, so cheese and coconut shrimp. I got meatballs. Prior to my spaghetti. I know I'm super sophisticated, but this is what I want to gosh darn it. Thank you. Is it whatever? That's pretty good actually. Great. I got spaghetti puttanesca. It's got olives and parmesan and some stuff on it. I don't know, it's just in a pasta mood. I got the paella. Clams, mussel, chicken, shrimp. That looks decent. to get in there and hopefully show that for you if they're allowing us to record. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We made it into the Cavern Club where you saw Jake perform karaoke a few nights ago. We're here to see the Beatles show, which is their, is it the later years? I think is, this is, so this is the last, I don't know. How long were the Beatles a thing? Oh, that was great over my time. Yeah. Like, what, two, four years? To be completely honest, we're not Beatles fans, but this is one of those things when you come on the encore, everyone says you kind of have to do, and we're hoping that we can get some footage for you to, like, show you and then tell you what we think. Um, Jake, I wanted to ask before we go on, what did you think of dinner tonight? We liked the Manhattan room the first time. What yeah. did you think? I liked my food this time as well. Um, which we have advised against. Yeah, but, but I ordered spaghetti, it which is good. perhaps the hardest thing to screw up. Yeah. And it was not screwed up. It was cooked well. Pretty evident that it was, you know, dried box pasta before it was cooked. Did you think it was like prego, or do you think they made the sauce? I don't know if they made the sauce, but they definitely seasoned the sauce. Okay. It wasn't just like a jar of ragu poured on some pasta. Um, and it had a little bit more texture too, so I don't think it was just like your average jar of sauce. Yeah. There was something to it. Um, meatballs were great, not not like mass produced balls of meat. Definitely. Yeah. But dessert was pretty bad. Yeah, dessert was disappointing. Yeah. For sure. Well, I actually had a pretty disappointing meal. The, the sa salad, which was really just like a cheese puff with a little greenery on the side, that was good. The shrimp were super disappointing. The paella was not good, and the dessert was really not good either. So I had kind of a miss of a meal all around. Um, what was not good about it? The paella. 
papaya just didn't have any flavor. The chicken was all, any chicken I've had on the ship has been cooked terribly. It's awfully dry, chewy. So I've had bits that I can't chew at all. They're just like gristle, they're bad. Um, I've just had much better paella many other places. We've made better paella than that. And the dessert just didn't, the flavors didn't go together. Um, the shrimp, the sauce was just sweet, like out of a can sweet. So, just not, but the cheese, the, the brie, baked brie was really, really good. I like that a lot. So, again, just hits and misses. Yeah, some things are good, some things are not. Yeah, it's really it's hard, like man. There's no way to predict it. And I order things that I, I would love. Normally. I'm not order like, oh, I'm going to be adventurous and try, no, like, I eat these things and I love them and it just wasn't, it's just not happening, so. Alright. So we drink. <laughs> yep. Invasion! places in the ship have Guinness, but these are definitely the last two in the cooler. Huh. It's unique. Yeah. I mean, it, it tastes like pumpkin spice, so I'll give them that. My dear friends, how are you doing today? Yeah. All right, I will 
take that lukewarm response and we're doing it pretty good. in our room he wasn't playing any of the music we requested mm -hmm. so we left yep peace peace you're not gonna play our music we're not gonna lend you our ears yeah today was a fun day though we got to do something really cool um unfortunately we weren't in catch camp very long so we didn't get to see the town at all i wish we would have been there a little longer it really wouldn't have worked norwegian has a 30-year contract to dock at this dock that's about 20 minutes outside of town. So you have to take a bus to get into town. Mm -hmm. So it's 20 minutes there, 20 right. minutes back. You have to stand in line to get on the bus, take a 20 minute bus ride to town to then do what you want to do and stand in a line to get on the bus and take a 20 minute ride back. So, or Uber. You could Uber. I guess you could Uber, but really we had such a limited amount of time. We would never have seen the town. So. Yeah. Just didn't work for us. We'll just have to come back to catch can someday if we really want to explore. I think that's a mistake on Norwegian's part, though. Like, I don't know. Be interesting to see their turnaround of people that like get off the ship and catch a can when they find out that they have forty minutes of travel time. Cause that's mm -hmm. like a huge chunk of time in like a. We were only here for seven hours. Yeah. Well, six and a half if you if you yeah. consider when you got to be on back on the ship. I don't know. Anyway, but a good day. We caught some salmon. We have some salmon on the way home, which is mm -hmm. cool. And we got to see the Beatles Invasion, which is like one of the most popular shows on the Norwegian Encore. Yeah. And it was, it was fun. Packed. It was packed. insane, man. It was oh. insane. Um, but really fun. Had an, just kind of okay food today. Standard for yeah, what we'll we've been having this trip. Pretty normal. Pretty normal okay food. Yeah, and are now heading to bed for our, to get ready for our last day. It's a sea day tomorrow, heading back to Seattle. We'll be bringing you along, of course. We don't have any set plans except for dinner at Food Republic, which is one of the specialty restaurants here on the ship. Looking forward to that. Really <laughs> hoping it's good. <laughs> Gonna have some Mexican I'm not, sushi. I'm hoping it's good, but I'm expecting it not to be. Just to set my expectations... A yeah. little low. But of course, make sure you are subscribed if you want to see that video next week and click the bell if you want a notification when it comes out. You know, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Oh, As I said earlier, let us know what Disney cruise you want us to go on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just shamelessly plugging the Disney cruises on this. Or Royal oh, or, yeah, or Carnival. Or Carnival, but probably Disney. But really, all of these once COVID measures are lifted. Yeah. I think that's going to be a necessary step for me to go on a cruise again. <laughs> uh, if you're going to send us on a cruise, make it like 2019 before COVID. Yeah, yeah. But thanks again for watching. Until next week, tomorrow for us, next week for you, we will see you next time. And until then, stay, stay. salmon. Sam Sal magical. Sa Sal magical. Sam magical. Gross. Yeah, that's a bad one. Ooh. Catch a can? More like can catch salmon. Ah. Catch a Sam. Ah. Hey, ah. <laughs>